And so after like a few months, you know, I got I got shredded and I thought I liked the aesthetic, but I remember like the week leading up to the show, like looking in the mirror and I was like, you know, it's not worth it. Like, you know, I didn't feel any different. Um, it didn't really improve my, my social life like I thought it would. Um, yeah, I've come to learn that I prefer having a more relaxed schedule as far as like fitness and whatnot because I'll be honest like doing that every day and having to be so attentive to what you're eating and how you're working out like it's very draining especially like when you've got other stuff going on that you're more passionate about or that you would you much rather be doing like I didn't like spending money on all that stuff especially like you know as far as supplements now if you're going for a show that's even more money and I didn't realize how much was really required. Um, kind of just got dared to do it by a friend and thinking like, yeah, like it ain't that hard. Like who can't stick to a diet and work out for a couple months, you know? Well, when you really get into it and then, you know, people find out and so you got this deadline and you're trying to just get in the best shape possible and then, you know, like your car breaks down or you know, you got a problem with the bank and your payments don't go through for bills and whatnot, so you got to get all that straightened out. Um, or, I, I mean, just shit happens that you wouldn't expect. And ironically, I had the most shit happen since I signed up for that. It's really weird. Like, everything went smooth and was pretty free flowing until I decided to dedicate, you know, my time and efforts to that show. And that's when all this random shit started popping up so I was really being tested that whole time um, yeah and I mean just for me personally like I, would I do it again maybe um, uh, I, I will say though like you do learn a lot from that um, it does teach you a certain level of grit you know and uh, discipline and really the thing is like I didn't even want to do it after a month into the training regiment because I was like man this is just too much for me to handle and you know I, I hated spending money on the food the supplements spending all this time you know prepping food every single day and I, I it got so old I got so burnt out but I was like you know what I already said I was gonna do it I'm already signed up you know like I, you know you just gotta follow through um, yeah, but so since that, you know, fast forwarding to this year, I've just been trying to eat more food in general and just put on more weight without getting fat, which is not, I'm not really getting fat, just I get like a bit of a gut, you know, but uh, but also too, when you're like shredded to the bone, you have no energy because that's really where you get your energy from is from the fat that your body stores, you know. Uh, and if you don't have it, it starts to eat up muscle or whatever else the body can use for fuel. So, I mean, you're really feeling the effects of that, especially for months at a time, you know. Um, so, yeah, right now I'm trying, to, I'm trying to find a balance. But, I mean, really for my personal body type, like, I'm, I have to eat dirty. Because if I eat clean and I measure out everything, it's just not enough. Especially since I'm already fairly active in my day-to-day -day life, so on top of working out, on top of eating food that's already like nutritionally dense and it's but doesn't have like fat and doesn't have a high amount of carbs, um, I'm just not going to get anything from that, and I'm really just wasting my time. Um, unless you're just trying to be healthy, but I don't think being shredded like that is is really good for you at all. So I'm just kind of taking a, a more relaxed approach, you know. Uh, I, right now I don't have a trainer, but I'm just kind of winging it right now. I got other priorities in my life, and the truth is too, like if you're really like trying to improve your physique, I mean, it does take a lot of time and effort because you're gonna constantly have to be reevaluating what you're eating and how you're working out the frequency of it all like for me I found that working out any more than like three to four times a week is just too much like straight up because I'm a fat burning machine 
Okay, so unless I can offset that by eating even more food, which that's probably my number one issue is eating food. Um, a lot of people that aren't are my body type don't understand that. You know, I'm constantly been I'm constantly being told just eat more. I don't understand why you can't eat more. You know, but but they don't see me forcing myself to eat and then you know I get sick I go throughout the day sick and it's you know it's almost impossible to eat more food I'll make myself eat another meal and I just throw it back up um, you know or I get so sick that I gotta go sit in the bathroom for 30 minutes I mean like it's a struggle like it's not it's not that straightforward you know so I'm just I'm just kind of burnt out trying to you know trying to explain that to people um, so I'd rather make a video just kind of putting that information out there uh, without someone just throwing some bullshit in my face of like, well, all you have to do is, no, it's not that simple, you know. Uh, but nonetheless, I am still trying. Uh, like I said, uh, it, you do get burnout after just, you know, meticulously tracking everything, eating, you know, working out and reevaluating, trying different shit, you know, and to just not really see any gains from it like not even like like you know a mental state like an elevated mental state or uh, you know any kind of physical gains or any kind of like you know energy that you've used throughout the day like that's the stuff that starts to weigh on you over time so I would just caution people that think they're just gonna like go on this magical journey just because they start working out you know like you really need to find something that's just gonna that you can do every day that does move you in that direction but that doesn't like eat up all of your time and energy because it will if you get to indulge in it so that's my take on that